I'd spent 10 years studying ancient climate, but uh, became intensely interested in global warming. Uh, when I looked at the data and the work done by others, I found that uh, there were legitimate skeptics uh, that had raised issues that I could not find the answers to. These had to do with the fact that they had carefully selected their data from a much larger data set, from the fact that there was a poor quality of the data stations, uh, that there was an urban heat island effect, and that they had adjusted the data in a way that there was no record. These bothered me enough that I could not find the answers. We had to create our own project in order to directly address them. About a year ago, we had sufficient data that I could see for the first time in a compelling way that global warming really had occurred, that there had been something like two-thirds of a degree temperature rise over the last 50 years. But about three to six months ago, we were able to push the record back 250 years. This is prior to the American Revolution. This includes data reported by Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson. When we did that, we had a long record, and based on that, we could look for the signatures, the fingerprints, if you like, of the volcanoes, of solar variability, of uh, ocean currents, of greenhouse gases. T to our shock, the volcanic eruptions were all very short-lived. So they had an effect, but only for a few years. The long-term trend, there was no component of that due to the solar variability. Uh, in the end, a really good match came to the greenhouse gases. That came as a surprise to me because I had really thought that the ocean currents and the variability of the sun would dominate, but it wasn't the case. It was purely greenhouse gases. At that point, my conclusion was not only is global warming real, but essentially all of it is caused by humans. Well, the reaction has been uh, mixed, I would say. I don't expect anybody to say, oh, Mueller has changed his mind, therefore I will too. No, uh, we expect that the careful reading of our papers, which have been posted online, uh, the looking at our computer programs, and posting of all of our data so people can reproduce what we did, that will take weeks to months. Ultimately, I think what we're trying to do is increase the transparency of science, uh, show that objective analysis can reach these conclusions. And in the end, science is that small realm of human knowledge on which there can and should be universal agreement. So I expect the science will hold up and over time people will be persuaded.